time for your lunch break. Produce man Michael Marks is here talking about something called pluots. Yeah, so Courtney, let's say you are a plum grower, right? Mm -hmm. let's, let's make you a plum grower, right? So you grow, so you grow plums and uh, you walk in and, and your children don't eat your plums. They eat apples and other fruit, but not your plums. Uh, what would you do? You got to come up with something else, right? Ah, and that's what Floyd Zeiger did in, in, in Modesto, California. He's the one who came up with the pluot so he could get his kids and his grandkids to fall in love with his type of plums. Now, over the past decade, Two thirds of all of the plums planted in California are the pluots. Oh my goodness, they have just become a huge craze. So you probably wonder what exactly is a pluot. If you cross a plum and an apricot 50 50, you get a plum cot. That's 50 50. Now, if you take that plum cot and you cross it again with another plum, now you have a pluot. It is two thirds plum, one third apricot, and they come, they're so large and they're so cool. Uh, in fact, check out the names. Uh, this is this is probably dinosaur egg, dapple dandy, all these cool names. And you know why, he, why Floyd Zeiger gave him cool, cool names? Because again, he wanted to appeal to kids. And he said, if I can get creative names with all my fruit, I'll get the kids involved. So that's very cool. Let me cut this in half and show this to you. Look at that inside. That is absolutely gorgeous. There are so many different varieties of pluots and the flavor, the juiciness. And I, what I, one of the things I love is their size. You know, when I first started in the produce industry, plums were generally a small size piece of fruit. But when we started getting pluots, the way they grew the trees, the way they, they, uh, uh, the way they trussled the trees up, I mean, we just got much larger fruit. And it's all about the flavor and the juiciness in there. So uh, let me tell you about this one. Oh my goodness. That is so good. You know when you bite into a plum and just when you get past the skin, there's all that bitterness? Yeah. You don't have that with a pluot. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna enjoy this for the rest of the time. Back to you guys. Okay. <laughs> enjoy, Michael. It's the dinner mm. and show. Man, that looks good. Mm.